Hello, I'm Jennifer from Heizol. Welcome to our video. The topic of this video, a question of cost in CNC machining. CNC machining is a key part of many industries. Sourcing the tools that you need accurately and at the right cost is often a challenge. The question on everyone's lips at this time, what impacts the cost of CNC machining? So let's take a look. The first thing that we would advise you to consider is the machining time. This is one, if not the biggest source of cost. Typically, the longer it takes, the more it will cost to make. It's worthwhile having a chat with your manufacturer in the design stage to see how complex your part is and how long that would translate to in terms of machining time. The second aspect is startup costs. These costs account for preparing your CAD files and planning the process. For prototypes and low volumes, the startup cost is likely going to be quite high, but do bear in mind that in the mass production stage, the cost per unit will be lower. Next, it's worthwhile considering the material cost. The raw material cost needs to be factored in. This price will depend on the type and quality of the material that you use, along with the complexity of machining it. Now, not every material can be machined in the same way. So again, it's useful to have a chat with your supplier to see which material would fit your project best. It's also beneficial factoring in additional manufacturing costs. If your parts have specific requirements, for example, a tight tolerance or thin walls, these may need special tools, extra manufacturing stages or slower manufacturing. This length will lengthen the time taking to produce the part, which may in turn increase the cost. So how can you reduce the cost of your CNC machining? Here at Heisel, we can provide you with several hints and tips to do this. The first one is to choose rounded internal corners. Machines often need to stop and be turned in order to achieve a sharp angle on the corner. Providing relief to corner pockets can avoid this and can reduce the time and steps it takes to produce your part. Ensuring your internal corner designs are rounded, the machine can run continuously to make your part, which can reduce the cost. The second piece of advice is avoid deep pockets where possible. Sometimes this is not possible due to the requirement of the part. However, forming deep pockets requires a substantial amount of material being extracted which is not only time consuming, but it may need a specific tool to get the desired depth. This adds complexity and can also drive up the cost. We recommend having a maximum pocket depth of four times the length. Typical CNC tools can form pockets of up to two to three times their diameter. Any more than this is likely to increase the price overall. The next thing is we would avoid tight tolerances. Now again, your manufacturer will be able to guide you on this during your design phase over what type of tolerance will be best suited to your part. If your part has a tight tolerance, it might be more difficult to machine, taking more time and possibly requiring it to be checked manually. If you do not specify tolerance, the standard is usually around 0.125 millimeters. We recommend only deviating from this standard when necessary. The last point we have is place large orders. This might seem self-explanatory and obvious, and generally speaking, it is the case that the higher the volume ordered, the lower the price per unit. Economies of scale is important in reducing CNC machining cost. CNC machining at Heizol. Heizol is one of the biggest CNC manufacturing experts in Asia. We identify materials, produce parts and deliver to our customers at speed.
If you're thinking of having your part CNC machined, you can hop over to our website at Heisel Global, upload your CAD design onto our instant quote system and have a price returned to you in seconds. We hope you found this video useful and thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Goodbye.